Hello, this presentation is about articles in English and criteria that help us choose between a, an or the. Specifically, we will focus on a new teaching approach to English articles and then first we will see how this new approach has come about and how we can use those teaching materials. In this presentation, we will tell you the story of articles, the most innocent little words. Articles such as a and the are very rare across languages. The yellow triangles on the map indicate languages that have no trace of an article system at all. It is estimated that only 8% of languages have definite and indefinite articles, and these languages are mostly located in Western Europe. But in Western European languages, articles are the most frequently used words. They are obligatorily expressed whenever a noun is used. And if you are a native speaker of a Germanic or Romance language, every fifth word you produce, hear or read, is an article. Now, imagine the challenge that that poses to the many, many learners of English, for example, who do not have an article system in their first language. When you look for explanations of the English article system, you will encounter two concepts, reference specificity and hearer knowledge. These concepts do what they promise. They capture whether the hearer knows what you're referring to and whether you're referring to a specific thing. Reference specificity and hearer knowledge have been very popular in research on language learning. Reference specificity in particular has played a major role and both child first language learners and adult second language learners appear to find this concept very intuitive to the extent that it has been claimed that specificity is an innate concept. But as you can see from the wheel on the slide, this concept rarely select only one article as possible option. In fact, only if both your knowledge and specificity of reference are established, is only one article possible. In all other cases, there are at least two, if not three options. This does not help learners much, so we went back to the data and manually annotated 2,000 real-life examples for a number of properties, including reference specificity and hearer knowledge, alongside number, singular versus plural, and countability, mass versus count. Also, we found that there seemed to be a reasonably easy way to select articles. The question you should be asking yourself is not, am I referring to something specific? But, do I think the person I'm talking to knows what I'm referring to? If you think the person you are talking to knows or should know what you are referring to, then the default is the in green here. You can only use zero in yellow if the thing you are talking about is not specific and uncountable, as in I had some chocolate or plural, such as I had chocolates with my coffee. You, you don't need to know which ones. If they're Belgian, take them. If you don't think the person you're talking to knows or could know what you're referring to, then your default is a in blue. Here to zero can be used, but pretty much only with plural nouns such as Belgian fries or uncountable nouns such as Belgian beer. So this brings us to the teaching materials on articles we have designed, and these include a combination of videos and exercises with immediate feedback and explanations. All examples are authentic examples of articles taken from online resources, and they are and the teaching materials are structured in phases. They can be used in class or as self-paced learning. They require a B, at least a B1 proficiency level and they have an engaging design. Let's first see how we can access the materials. First, you need to go to the Out of Our Minds website, choose resources, and then under teaching materials for teachers and language learners, you use English articles made easy. Then you will see a link to register your interest where you just need to write your name, your last name, 
your email address and what kind of training you're interested in. After you submit this form, you will receive an email to access the platform. This is the platform where all the activities are included. And then you can start your learning. So the first phase includes three criterions, as we explained before, shared knowledge unknown to the hearer and known to the hearer. Phase two explains specific and non-specific referent, and then phase three include both, combine both, unknown and non-specific, known and non-specific, unknown and specific. Let's see an example of a video that you could see. Another example of a non-specific referent is a teacher in this sentence, my cousin is a teacher. In this sentence, the referent, my cousin is specific, but the, a teacher is not. The phrase a teacher in this context does not refer to a specific um, teacher. It refers to any um, member of the category teacher. For example, what I'm saying is my cousin is a member of the category teacher. So in this case, a teacher is unknown and non-specific. So as you can understand in this video, there is an explanation in their examples too. After the video, you can go to the website and do some exercises. For instance, there is this exercise and you can choose between A or N and the. Whatever you choose, you're going to have some kind of um, feedback. In this case, it is correct. If you had chosen something that it is incorrect, you immediately get the feedback incorrect and score zero. Also, all of the exercises can be found as PDF files. And again, there are also PDF files with the answers and explanations for every question. You can also find everything that you need here, the um, link for our website, the teaching materials, the website for the activities, YouTube, uh, X and the email. Thank you.